As the country begins to reopen, Craig Road Animal Hospital will also be taking steps to reopen our building to pet owners across the Las Vegas Valley. Craig Road will start allowing clients to enter the building on the condition that they do not exhibit symptoms, do not have a COVID-19 positive member of their household, and are wearing a mask. Boarding and all routine services will also reopen. As our reopening plan continues, curbside service will continue to be an option for clients. Our parking spots are numbered, so please let us know which spot you are parked in. Please stay either in or near your car as a way to practice social distancing. We're accepting payments over the phone. For pet owners who are waiting in the lobby, we will require that they wear masks in order to enter the building. We will also require no more than 10 people in the lobby and no more than one client in the exam room. Our staff will take your temperature by non-invasive means before you enter an exam room. If possible, please maintain a distance of at least six feet at all times. Any clients with any symptoms of COVID-19 will be asked to stay in their cars. Pet owners who seem unwell and enter the building will be offered the option to have their temperature taken by non-invasive means. Clients who refuse will be asked to leave or to have curbside service. Pet owners who are coughing or sneezing significantly will be asked to leave. All discharges will be done via curbside service. At Craig Road, we continue to ask clients to understand if handshakes and hugs are no longer the norm for the time being. The Center for Disease Control said, quote, CDC is aware of a small number of pets worldwide, including cats and dogs, to be infected with the virus that causes COVID-19, mostly after close contact with people with COVID-19, end quote. Based on the limited information available to date, the risk of animals spreading COVID-19 to people is considered to be very low. It appears that the virus that causes COVID-19 can spread from people to animals in some situations. Treat your pets as you would other human family members. Do not let pets interact with people or animals outside the household. If a person inside the household becomes sick, isolate that person from everyone else, including pets. We are looking forward to continue serving you and your pets during this difficult time. Thank you for your understanding and support.